Hello and welcome guys, roll the intro. Okay, so let's start with the beginning, of course, and I'm going to go through the official content. In other words, I, I'm looking at the official um, content of the training and I will not share this, guy, this with you guys and you guys know why for sure because it will be just unethical and completely illegal. However, I can verbalize what's here. So ch chapter one starts with getting started with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And it starts with a question that is, what is Linux? Okay, so this is kind of the RH124. It's the, it's not the first, but officially it's the first training course when you get in on the Red Hat e ecosystem, right? So it makes quite some sense for this to be the first question or, or, or the first thing they approach on the course. So I want to be too detailed about this uh, because if you guys are letting here in this in, in this training series, in this in, in this playlist, it's because you guys most likely already know what Linux is and what Red Hat is. But uh, it basically shows you what Linux is. It's, it talk, talks to you about that it's a, it's, it's a very widespread orbiting system with uh, many people adopting Linux, not only Red Hat, but uh, many other uh, Linux uh, versions, uh, many other Linux distributions. They kind of they show why Linux is great. Uh, it's open source, it's command line based, it's modular, it's very effective, and why they, they talk about why open source. So, so all of this stuff, you kind of, I'm sure you guys can get this information from other sources. And this is kind of, uh, they start this just to kind of to establish uh, or give motivation to the students to sit down and learn about an open source, um, quote unquote, open source Linux operating system. Then they go about talking about what is a, dist a distribution. Um, I can um, I can share with you guys some, some information. Let me just show you. Give me a second. I have uh, I have a uh, uh, a browser ready for this, but I closed it by accident. So just give me a second. Well, we're going. To, you go. We're we're going to explore. Um, we're going to explore a site that is called uh, DistroWatch. Uh, let me just swap this so you guys can see. Okay, there you go. So we're going to explore a site called Easter Watch. I don't endorse this site. I'm not sponsored by this site by any by any reason. It's just a good a good place to uh, get a list of. Uh, I don't I'm not sure if it's there are all Linux distributions, but at least most Linux distributions. So you go here to the right hand side and say page sheet ranking. You guys can see my mouse over there. It's there. So here you can see. Uh, or, or they have a kind of um, a ranking. I'm not going to say that this ranking it's it's very accurate or not accurate at all. It's it's just a ranking like any other ranking that you can you can use as a reference. If you have if you have other websites that you prefer as a reference, you can just use them. It's fine. It's just a list of uh, possible Linux distributions. So basically, a distribution is in a very simple terms. It's a it, it's a it's a group of uh, the kernel the Linux kernel that can can be uh, obtained freely. So if you go to a site called kernel.org, you can obtain obtain the kernel uh, freely. You can just download it and it's yours. So distribution it's a, the, a, a kernel or the kernel like it is or tailored to your liking, and a group of applications. So th this this is going to spawn. A, a Linux distribution. So the kernel plus the applications will just create a distribution, which is a, it is a Linux, a different version or different uh, philosophy of Linux, depending on the actual use case for each Linux. In my opinion, there are there are no better or worse Linuxes. All of them has the pluses and their minuses. It's most of the time a matter of personal preference, and since they are mostly free. You can just download your download as many Linuxes that you want to use, and just enjoy the one you prefer. If you don't like the one you downloaded, just try another one until you find one that you actually like. So that's that's just my opinion. Put down in the comments below if you do not agree with me, but that's just my opinion. So we have here ranking, MX Linux, Mint, Indiver, blah blah blah. All of this. 
And if you look, if you look first Reddit, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it um, with my own eyes because I have that problem. Oh, there it is. So Reddit, it's on on ranking sixty nine. Nice. <laughs> Just a coincidence. I didn't know. So Reddit is kind of on a lower on the list just because Reddit it's a kind of an enterprise enterprise Linux. So it it it's not free per se. You can download and install Reddit Reddit for free. Yes, but in order to get support and most of the updates, you need to pay for for a license. There are very cheap licenses. That's true, but you have to pay for it. While most of the others are just free to obtain, free to update, and free to use. I'm not going to use Reddit here in this training or my exercises. I'm going to use Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is just a kind of a clone of Reddit. It's the same thing. You can eat. They they do. They basically they are the same thing. Okay. They, there is no major, There is no difference. But Rocky Linux, it's free to use and free to free, free to, to to free to use. And I have access to all the updates and all of that good stuff for free. So and and I'm just using free software. So that's basically that. But it's the same thing. What we're what we're going to do here this week or this month, whatever, how many, how much time it takes me to do this series, um, it's going to be on on Rocky Linux, which is the same thing as well. So can you you can reference yourself, you can reference yourself to this to this to this website to see what are the offers of Linux distributions. Uh, you can pick the one, or if you want to stick with the one I'm going to use, it's Rocky Linux. You can download it freely. It's used. It's free to use. It's it's all good. So basically, distribution it's the kernel, the Linux kernel plus the applications that will that will create a, a Linux with a specific use case. Or there are more generic Linuxes. There are more specific use case Linuxes. You can just go through the DistroWatch. DistroWatch is just one site that, that I'm using. I don't have any special care or special love for this site. It's just a very it's the site I use for a long, the longest time, and I just go there because it works. Then continuing with all the chapter one stuff, then they go, why Red Hat? So who is Red Hat? Why Red Hat? Blah, blah, blah. Well, basically you you, you, you kind of adopt Red Hat because it's a, a enterprise-centered operating system and it has official support and official updates. So most of the other Linuxes on, on this watch, they're going, they have support and updates, yes. But it's kind of a, an, um, there are obviously going, can be exceptions, but for the most part, you get free updates and free um, up and free support from the community. So it's kind of a, the help, everybody helping each other with Red Hat. You have official support, official training, and official updates. It's, it's, it requires a fee, you have to pay, but at least it's there. And if you are running a big enterprise, you want to have that kind of, kind of that, uh, reassurance of having support when you need it and having um, people help you when you actually need that help. So that basically covers uh, the, the first chapter. Uh, it's kind of kind of the kind of a, a pat in the back for RHEL to saying that it's a and it's true that it's a very reliable and very and and you have official support for that operating system. Again, and it, they also mentioned that you can go to the Red Hat's website and obtain a free, a free copy of RHEL. That's true. You have different versions that can obtain for free. But to, at, at a certain point, uh, you only have to pay for a fee to have all the full updates and full support. Uh, they also mentioned containers, OpenShift, that are products that are kind of um, parallel or in series, depending on, the, on your approach, uh, of the main RHEL-based operating system. So you have RHEL, that is the DR base operating system. RHEL, when I say RHEL, it's Red Hat, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So you have RHEL, that is your base operating system. Okay, you have your base operating system. Then you have products that are built upon it. Most, most noticeable missions can be that as Ansible, OpenShift, running containers, and also Red Hat virtualization. But that's for another another time. Uh, all of this is about the base operating system. You have we have lots to do, and lots to work, and we're going to start this right now. Like and subscribe if you like helps, and it will keep you up to date for my future videos of all twelve or thirteen or fifteen videos about this series. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.